In this lesson, we'll talk about adding some small scales to different areas of our model. So we want to have some smaller type scales, maybe up here on the head, maybe on the chest, maybe up on the arms in different areas. And there are different ways of accomplishing this. One would be a way similar to what we did with the, the larger scales back here, which would be to use a layer and then use masking and inflate it. I'm actually going to use knife to draw out these scales individually. Okay. Now you could also use a, a stamp to be able to do that. Um, so you could open up a stamp and draw that out or a stencil to, to paint those through. But I want to have a little bit more control in this case. And it is going to be a little bit more tedious, but we will uh, get something that we have a lot more control over. So let's go ahead and I'm going to increase the subdivision level because I want to have plenty of polygons to be able to work with. So let's go ahead and subdivide our mesh. So it's going to be up near 4 million polygons. Okay. And let's also create a new uh, layer. So let that cache catch up. And we'll create a new layer. And this layer is going to be here at level 6. So we'll go ahead and call this something like, we can call it small scales. So now we're here on level 6. Let's use our wax. And I'm just going to start from the... I'm going to start from the mouth. So I'm going to get a smaller brush size. And let's check. Uh, go ahead and change the fall off a little bit. So under wax, I'm going to go ahead and take this fall off. And what I want to do is make it more harsh. So we'll go ahead and edit that fall off to be more something like that. And let's take our pressure down a little bit. And so what we get are these more hard edged looking strokes. So I'm just going to come in along the mouth and just back and forth add that little bit of detail there along the top of the mouth. Okay, and we'll do the same thing coming down on the bottom. So coming in here, we'll kind of go halfway so that you get that little half scale kind of a shape there. So I'm just starting from the mouth. Go ahead and add that in. Again, it's happening on our layer. If you want to go smaller, get some smaller little scales coming in here, maybe on the front as well, or on the top as well, I mean. Okay. Now I want to take the knife, get a, a very small size, fairly small size, okay? And because we are on a layer, we don't have to be as careful about the the pressure. But I want to go back and let's choose the knife settings. I want to increase the pinch amount, okay? So it's kind of pinching that together. And then I can come back in here and start to draw these out. Okay, we can decrease the pressure. And now I'll just spend some time drawing these out. Come in here from the side, do the same thing. And I want to exaggerate these lines coming in here, coming around here. And I'll just create this sort of overlapping kind of a look. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can make yours look like whatever you want. Okay. So we want to get something like that. Okay. And we can do the same thing down here. We can start to define an area like that. Maybe increase our pressure and size on these just a little bit. Okay. Now also, I want to come bring those down into here. And you could use wax for this too. You can also go in and actually pinch that together. Okay, and then maybe do just a really small smooth. And come in and add 
a little bit of that coming in along the side here, and I want that to sort of overlap a little. And then as you come up here, you know, you can start to start to uh, kind of draw those out a little bit. It's kind of a a bit more of a smooth there. Pinch it together. You know, and then you can come in and if you wanted to flatten it or scrape it, you could do that. To add a little bit more detail there. And I would do I'm gonna do the same thing up here on the arms up here on top. So I'm just kind of start from one area. Maybe increase that pinch a little bit more. Okay, and then just work my way down. I'll probably make them a little bit smaller as they come down the arm. Think about the size. We'll have sort of similar sized ones near each other, and then maybe as they go down, they get a little bit smaller. And depending on the pattern that you want, I know you could make them either overlap or not overlap. You're kind of doing a little bit of a, a mixture. Okay. Starting to come down here. So you just want to do that across the... I'm going to do it on the chest, on the shoulder, and then on the head. But if you want to do it in other areas, you can certainly do that. I just want to kind of delineate the hard surface type of a piece. So for our shell here, I'm going to kind of come in and draw these out. I'm working fairly fast and not really worrying too much about being too careful here. But you can spend as much time on this as you want. If you want these to have a particular, all have a particular shape, you could do that too. You could make them all kind of longer, thinner uh, kind of scales. I'll just add that going all the way back here. Okay, and then again up at the top, if you want to kind of take some time and maybe work on one area and then come back and work on another area, you could do that too. Now, I'm not going to add these all across the body, so I'm not going to add them in these really soft areas or underneath the neck. I'm going to kind of isolate it up here on the front of the head and then on the shoulders and then on the chest. Okay, and Remember, this is on a layer, so I could at any time turn that layer off or I can dial down the strength of it. That just gives me more flexibility. If I end up doing something that I don't want or I don't like, I can really be able to dial it in or even delete it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just draw a few more of these out here, extending down the arm and then up across the head. And then we'll come back in the next lesson and talk about finishing the detailing of the limbs. So we don't really have much detail going on on these hands and, and feet and arms. So we will talk about that in the next lesson.